Back not all that long ago, the Ibero American Action League started a radio station, Poder, 97.1 FM. When Juan Nieves heard that, he volunteered to help out. 18 months! That's how long he volunteered. Dozens of hours a month until they found it in the budget to hire him. Johnny Mambo on the air. Nieves broadcasts all morning during the week. And two weeks ago, he became the station manager. Here's my interview with him as part of this week's radio series. You grew up here, born in Puerto Rico. You grew up here. You loved radio. You got into radio, a commercial radio station. Didn't pay what you needed because you had a family. Right. You go into the baking business. Yeah. Did you think that you would ever be back in the radio field? No, I didn't. You know, I was like, man, I missed my opportunity. But we have to take care of the family, so, so I did. I always wanted to, and I always did it on the side. It was more of a hobby, maybe a little bit of business going on. But no, I said, man, I, I missed the opportunity. I never did. And then this radio station came around, and it was perfect. It was a, it was a Latin station. I'm Latino. I'm Puerto Rican. So I have some experience. They're looking for volunteers. The door was there, and I opened it, and it just, it just snowballed from there. So many things have happened since I've started here three years ago. I was surprised when I moved back how not just vibrant the Latino community is here, but how large the Latino community is. Yes, and it continues to grow. And, and with the misplacement of the people from the hurricane after uh, Maria had hit Puerto Rico, it's just continuing to grow and get bigger and bigger. And that is uh, all the more reason we are thriving and we need to continue to deliver the content and, and the information that we do because the Latino community is growing and they're coming here and they don't know what to do where to go and and we are that so to speak key mm -hmm. to connections to the community and all the all the things that Rochester has to, to offer because they do offer a lot of services but if you don't know you don't know and you, you can't get received services you don't know about You've been a one-man band here. You're on air for hours and hours. You run the place, yeah. along with so much more. What happens when you're sick? Uh, it's a good question. You know, I haven't gotten sick, so we don't know. Or if I have not gotten sick enough where I <laughs> won't come to work. And that's been the story of my life, I will tell you that. I, before I was uh, DJing, so to speak, professionally, I used to be a baker, and I was a manager at a bakery, and I've never missed a day either there. Yeah, so I don't come in late, I don't go home early, and I don't miss a day. Anything else you'd like to add that I might have missed? I mean, we could be here all day, but, you know, <laughs> because I am so thankful of all of the opportunities that Poder and my borough have given me and the acceptance of this community, I just want to continue to thank them and to let them know that I'm here and, and I will be for a long time. Johnny Mambo, he'll be on tomorrow morning. I guarantee it. Tomorrow, Mark Myra from 94.1 The Zone. He's not known for holding his tongue and certainly did not hold back in my interview. That is going to come with sparks. A good interview indeed.